believe we have already copied. So uh, I can just continue. Start a question. It's an easy question. Basically, you have been told to tabulate uh, this information in a matrix form. So in each category, find the total in each category for the three days. So basically, the question that, uh, is telling you to find the total. And in each category, basically, is the total uh, number of uh, vehicles uh, that showed on day one, the total number of vehicles passing through that road on day two, and the total number of vehicles passing through uh, that road on day three. That is, uh, that is uh, the, that. The answer, Joy. So, uh, okay, okay, we can continue. Uh, 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 what is asking us to do is find the total. Basically, that is the summation, or rather the addition of uh, elements uh, in a part of this particular matrix. So the first step uh, is to tabulate this information in a matrix form, addition in a matrix form. So I'll just quickly add the matrix to this uh, here, to this here. This is a three by three matrix because uh, in, it involves three vehicles, it involves three vehicles and are, are three days. They are three days. Three days. So this will be a three by three matrix. So you can add. Then I said I'll be switching between tabs and I'll just everyone in. So from there. Have that as a matrix. Please give me some time, okay? It's accepted. On day one, being told that uh, the first column, uh, oh, sorry, the first row will represent uh, the, the number of vehicles on day one. Second row will represent the number of vehicles in, uh, in day two. And the third row will represent the number of vehicles in. So in Day one, day one, uh, we start the number in row one is the number of vehicles in day one, row two, the number of vehicles in day two, row three, the number of vehicles, three. In the columns, the first column, we can, we can have it, uh, we can have it take uh, the buses. The second column, you can have it take the lorries. In the third column, you can have it take uh, the cars. So, the number of buses in row one have 10. Then, on day two, you have and day three, you have buses. Take note, the order here has been mixed up. So, when you are uh, this down, make sure you put them in the correct order. And then uh, in column two, we have said it will take uh, in each particular day. So you have the one six, second day, you have four, and then the third day, third day, make me slow. On the third day, we have uh, one. 
a number of cards. First day we have the key. Second day we have uh, nine. We have twenty. Then the third day we have nine. So, uh, asking us to find the total in each category for the three days. Basically, we say the one, uh, the one, the second row, the two, and the third row, the three, the buses, the second column, the lorries, the third column. So, the total talk of the three days. When we talk of the total for the three days, it's basically adding adding the number of buses, uh, the number of lorries, and the number of number of cars. So in each category, category, we start with the buses. Start with the buses. Start with the buses. This will be just then add seven. Then you add three as in each category. So the total number twenty the number of lorries six add one. It will give us eleven. Then you can put the number of cars the last column. That is fifteen. Nine. Total in each category for the number of buses, for the number of lorries is eleven for the number of cars. Excuse me, sir. Number of cars. Number of cars. Number of cars. Number of cars. Right. Should be forty four. Forty four. Yeah. So when you are told to tabulate uh, this information in form of a matrix, this is the first step you do. It is not a mask, it is not a mask uh, you order where they appear. Basically for the rows. Let them appear the way they are because uh, you start with the first day, the second day, and the third day. Uh, you can either start with uh, the cars or the lorries. For the columns, you can start uh, with either. Want, but make sure that the elements appear in the order in which they are in, in the question. So basically, this is the solution for that. If you want to do this uh, that way, you get uh, all of the marks. Uh, the time for questions. If you have a question, you can just ask, and then if there is no question, you can move ahead uh, to the second. You can move ahead to the second example. Basically, here upper, you find that uh, each answer, each answer <laughs> just carries one mark. Forty-four for the lorries. Uh, for the buses, 
that is one mark and then matrix one mark basically the one uh, number two but you'll find that other questions uh, may carry more marks than basically depends uh, with the depth of the question or rather the scope of the question how is required for you from that particular question depends on the question that is the total of marks If possible, sir, uh, it is possible for you to be given such a question. Chesa, tuna dika in matrix alafu, tuna add, alafu yu ndo jitu. Eh, eh, even the swali meuliza, swali, uh, the, uh, the question is asking, tabulate the, this information. A matrix, you must have a matrix. Okay, what the question is asking, and then uh, the other part of the question is find the total for the three days. So, when you're finding the total, this is the part. So, this part here, uh, you know, the total. So, basically, that is just it the matrix and the total. From there, you're good to go. Uh, uh, what we looked at matrix operation, we had addition, so this is uh, one matrix operation. Shani kona swali. Kap, iya nse ya tumepata ya tunandika basis is equals to 10 plus, 10 plus 7 plus 3, iso zote hivo. Eh. Unezafanya nini na, like, banyi hiko sayo unezafanya na nini na row reduction? Ah, ukifanya na row reduction yuta kumasea. Basically, uh, umiambua find the total and uh, ukiambua find the total uh, yu inamanisha tu just add just add kama ni row reduction inge kwa specified inge, instead of instead of this total yeah. instead of kuambiwa find the total inge kwa umiambiwa uh, use row reduction when you solve me uliza unless it is an open question ile solve me ujambiwa utumie mbebe yore find the answer that is when you can use any method maybe uh you can have an example umepewa as a other question umepewa quadratic equation and then we have your uh the question asks solve this quadratic equation quadratic equation and the question asks uh, ask, ask you to find uh quadratic equation if you are open evil you can either use factorization Square, you can use the graphical form or you can use the quadratic formula. Open even as a tumayote. But when it is tied, maybe so we come here. Use completing the square uh, solve this uh, equation. No to me completing the square of I to me any other method. So basically that is the same here. I've been told to find the total. And basically when you're finding the total, I just you are just summing up uh, what uh, is given in the question. Here to me, addition. Maybe you can choose any other method. Yes. 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 On the answer 10 buses, 6 lorries, 15. On the two, instead of answer buses, on the answer lorries. So, if you can get the answer, you can get the answer. You have seen the first column, you can buses, the second column, you can get lorries, the third column, you can get buses. You can get the answer buses because you can get the two, on the answer lorries. So, you can get the answer. The answer is here, one decade, four. You must uh, just take note on how the question uh, is phrased. the is in the answer, and this other part is the buses. So basically, we talk of uh, a question being twisted, maybe even to equal twisted, but any other way, I don't think it's hard to twist uh, such questions. Uh, basically, come
Kali buat hari ini. This list. So with that, I believe in the end layer. You can look at the second example. Look at the second example. Uh, you can look at example two. You can look at example two. Let's come this one. Example two. Yeah, it will not allow us to do many examples, so find time to for more questions. Look for more questions on search. Look for more questions on search. Basically, kama utakuna Google, masoli kama easy. You can have, uh, or rather, unaweza andika ki Google, unaweza andika word problems. One problems involving matrices. Sorry, one problems involving application of one matrices. That it is. We may have a certain story. We may have a certain story. Story, you must uh, derive to do the calculation. Uh, so, this basically are uh, word problems converting textual data uh, into matrices. Basically, uh, when we talk of textual data, uh, is these word problems, we convert them into matrices and then solve uh, those matrices. You don't want to, I will compile these notes and then you are to me. The solutions. Basically, I will really sit at home because I want you to do them as an exercise. So, and if you come up to a time, I will just send this. Uh, I'm sorry. I send it to the class steps. Basically, I have them. And then they share the rest of the apples. You can just maybe books. That's what it looks. I believe we will tell what is our materials in the Meza Hutter Google. We must have two of this. So basically, you have this uh, the Premier League results. Basically, this is another application area in football. Uh, the Premier League results. Top Fourteens uh, during the first leg uh, of a certain year. Basically, this was the first leg. Have the teams. Uh, have the number number of matches they have drawn and the number of matches uh, they have lost and the corresponding points. Points. I believe. Uh, yeah, the corresponding points. I believe the points are accurate enough. Uh, based calculation of them in the real world. So basically, you have that. Second leg, the second leg, the results uh, have the teams, they are the same teams, but the uh, results they, uh, they obtained have the win. The draw the losses and the points. It should be 20. Let me correct uh, this part. This is 23. That should be 23. Like that. Then you can the calculation uh, the question requires us to uh, you calculate uh, the final 
results at the edge of the ear, calculate the final results for the teams at the end. Basically, such a question, such a question, when you're trying to calculate the final results, when you talk about football, rather those of us who are conversant with football, we do the first leg, the second leg, we combine uh, the number of matches won, the number of matches drawn, and the number of matches lost, and we also add up the, uh, the points uh, total. Uh, the total matches won, won, and lost, and the total points. Will, uh, for this question, that particular year, solution for this. So the solution to this will be uh, we have been we have been presented with two tables. So uh shapes us have two matrices is because we are finding the total at the end of the year. The summation of both the second leg. So here we have a matrix of the first leg the second leg and then the two together just the same way and add the matrix here basically this matrix because uh thing that we have uh the uh, the win the loss the total number of points the total number of points uh, this uh, should give us Three by three matrix. Ah, sorry, a four. And then you have four things. So this uh, a four by four matrix. By four matrix. You can just find this. I'm not sure if you accept that. Okay. by four margins. We need to insert the brackets. Such basically, it would allow us to add another. Another row, but this is how I want you to do this. This is how I want you to do this. You should have a uh, matrix because you have the first, uh, the first team as the first row, row as the third row, and as the fourth row. And then you have the number of columns for the win, the draw, and the total number of points. So for the first team. You are seeing that uh, the first team have the win, draw, loss, and the number of points that is 8, 4, 6, and 28. So here we have 8. How 
we have 6, here we have 28. So in the second row, have the second team that uh, that is we are generating a matrix for the first leg six and twenty two. Six, two, eight, and twenty. Then from there, I'll need you to come up with the fourth row. The fourth row that will take uh, uh, this, that will take these values. I need you to come up with the fourth row that will take those values. That is 9, 6, 3, 9, 6, 3, 33. Basically, I'm able to add another row to that. Then give me that. So basically, down here, add another row so take the values 9, 6, 3, and 33 and from there you should add because you are looking for the final results you should add copy this here and then edit it the second the second leg you should add the second leg the first value here, the seven. The value here is the two. And it's nine. For the second leg, I need you to also add a fourth row, fourth, a fourth row matrix, uh, which has uh, the fourth leg. And on the fourth row, you should enter these values. You should enter the mean, which is an H. The second column, down here, you should enter, enter the loss, which is a 2. And for, and for the fourth column, eight. That should be eight. And then the fourth column should enter thirty. And the total number, total number of points. So from there, just add, just add, add the two matrices to generate uh, another matrix, uh, which will be our solution. The final results, just add those two matrices to generate, uh, which will be our solution. You can choose not that up here, well, up here. In the first column, you can write win. Right? Uh, you can write uh, draw. That column, you can write 
I've got a advantage the total number of points and do for both matrices. The rows can have here uh, this was a tasker, the second one was Mutare, uh, and Lenzi, and then the fourth one was got just depends on how it is to do it. For easier understanding, sum the two together. If you are bold enough, uh, you can give us the answer. Give us the answers which you have. The summation of uh, those two matrices. Summation of those two matrices. I made a mistake. Yeah, you can just work with that. I believe on my end, I made a mistake. On my end, I made a mistake uh, on these teams. These teams, I made a mistake, but just work with that the way it is. Let's work with that for now. I need you to add the two matrices. Kenneth, that's what I'm saying. Uh, add, add the two matrices. Give me answer, when there's any some answer, yako, or rather, or peer, when there's any comments, then put it in the comments. Okay, what's your name? 15. Yes. 15. Wins. Yes. Yeah. Don't wins. 15. Go on. Again. Yeah. 17. Yeah. 17 17 17 okay and then loss 6 6 yes. 12 7 yes. 12 uh, okay 15 the loss is yes 15 uh 15 appeal yeah, uh, appeal in 9 okay uh, so 9 is that one 10 and five. Ten and five. Yes. Yeah. And for the okay for the number of points. Fifty one. Fifty seven. Okay. Fifty eight and sixty three. Ah, that's okay. Those are the answers for those of you who are listening in. Those are answers. Come on, my is answer. That is the uh, that is the correct answer. That is the correct answer. So from there, uh, we have basically addition, the addition of elements, uh, matrices. I will go to the next slide. Next slide. Excuse. Yes. Here yeah, we show for row one. Row one. Yes. Yeah, we show for point yes. Yes. Row one. 
51 51 51 so we'll go because we can move to the next example Wendele. Okay. Alafu, I wanted to clarify something. I wanted to clarify something on assignments that we have here. Thank you. Yes. Hello, Mr. Yes. Yo, stuff, ya ro, hizo vitu kizipanga kwa matrix, unazipara. Rondo unaweka ikiwa kwa na mama kunaendaje? Nguo sijelewa bado nimekuwa late kiasi ya. Yes. Sabuni ya nazo kidogo. Okay, a moment, a moment. Eh, uh, nimeza na screen yangu for now. Believe in the screen for now. What, uh, or how we arranged uh, these matrices was the first team. We have two legs here. Have two legs here. The first team, first task, which takes the first row. The second team takes the second row. The third team takes the third row. And the fourth team takes the fourth row such in a matrix, when you put such in a matrix, uh, we can use the second leg because uh, I don't think the screen will be uh, everything. So then, given by this matrix here, we find that the first team, which is tasker, we have uh, the wins, the draw, the loss, and the number of, uh, the total number of points. Uh, they are being given as the first row of that uh, Matrix. I push as the first row of that particular uh, matrix. Then we have uh, the second and uh, the second team are there. Uh, the, the wins, the draws, the losses, the points given us uh, the second row. Same. The third, uh, the third row applies for the third team. And then we add another. Uh, another, another row to these values for the fourth team. So here you should have three, uh, four rows and uh, four columns. You should have four rows and four columns. That's how we do it. This is for the second leg, and for the first leg, we just do the same. These uh, values here and put them form. Put them in a matrix form. Since uh, our question is asking us uh, to use matrices, so basically the first step will be uh, rewriting uh, data in form of a matrix, in form of a matrix uh, which you have here, and then calculate the final results. Final results for the win, you should add uh, you should sum the wins together so that uh, so that you can find uh, the total number of wins. Same applies to the losses, same applies to the draw and the total number of points. And there uh, whoever has asked uh, that question. Yeah, in completion, in completion. Uh, so we can move uh, to the next example. Basically, this example, I want you to do it, and then the, the answer is just the same. It's just the same, but we have some additional information. Some additional information, rather, was calculated. Uh, uh, this is how you calculate again. Those uh, who are conversant uh, football, I believe uh, it, it will be easy for you to answer such a question. Basically, it is easy to answer such a question because it is a uh, must record. So the question is, uh, consider the linear mean results games within a given period in a year. In a year. So probably, I believe this year uh, 
was uh, was two or four for the newer because uh, I don't see how uh, Arsenal can talk uh, or can perform in such a manner. I know that I'm hating. Yeah. I know that I'm hating. Yeah. Uh, I'm just... But I'm just... I'm just... I'm just... Thank <laughs> So we can have this debate uh, for another day. We can have this debate for another day, but for now, how the question is asked. Uh, Arsenal won 19, 19 matches, and uh, drew 11 matches, and lost 6 matches. Uh, Chelsea, which won 19 matches, 9 matches, and lost uh, 8 matches. Then for Manchester United, uh, uh, the results here are 14 wins and 12 uh, losses. An additional information uh, for such a question is for every for every win, a team gets three points. For every win, a team gets three points. For every draw, for every draw, one point. And for every loss, zero points. So we are being told using matrices, this is to take note, we are being told using matrices, 12 points for each team. Points for each team. So you can try on that and then then you pair Majibu and give me the answers and then if time allows, we'll do the calculation uh, together. We'll try to see how it's supposed to be done. So you can try on that. You can try on that example. You can try on that example. Basically, this question, uh, this question is testing two concepts. Uh, uh, two concepts here. Uh, operation of matrices, it's testing two concepts of, uh, of operations in matrices. You can try on that, and then you give me the answers. Give me answers, and give you five minutes, maybe ten minutes, uh, for each and every one to work out uh, that question. Okay. Sixty-eight. Matrix. Yes. 
Nimemaliza. Sasa, what's the answer? 68. Yes. 16 yeah. and 50. Ah, uh, 68, 66 and 50. Sasa. So, so. Another answer. Mm. Answer from another. Another gentleman, another lady. Then, we work it out uh, together. Nimemaliza pia. Yeah, 68. 68. Okay. Uh, that's very good. Uh, for those who have given me the answers, uh, that's very good. Those are the correct answers. Those are the correct answers. So we can do, uh, can do that for here. Then we can see how it's supposed to be done. How it's supposed to be done. So, the solution to this question. So, the solution to this, uh, to this question uh, is given as follows. First, we have three teams. Basically, we have been told to use matrices, so it is a must use matrices. It is a must use matrices. So first, uh, we have to formulate a matrix. We have to formulate a matrix uh, based on these results. So basically, we can have uh, the results and the matrix based on uh, the total number of points. The total number of points. So basically, first, uh, what we need to do, we can add a matrix based on the results. So here, first element of this matrix, first element. First element of 
this matrix through the here. Just make sure you follow the order in which uh, you follow each other. Green, blue, and rows. Make sure that uh, the rows uh, follow each other in that particular format. Rows, the columns. Otherwise, you might, you might end up uh, having the wrong answer. From there, uh, we all know in calculating uh, these points, in calculating these points, in basically from the question, you will find that in calculating these points, we are required uh, the number of matches won by uh, the number of points uh, which correspond to the winning, the draw, and the number of losses. So here we have multiplied this matrix by results. That is in this matrix by uh, the total number of points formulate for another matrix. And here, three points, and three points are 1.0 in that order. We form another matrix, but this will be a column matrix. This will be a column matrix, and I believe uh, it teaches. Uh, taught you on how uh, matrix, uh, matrix multiplication occurs, matrix multiplication occurs. So here we have three, we have one, here we have uh, a zero. They are basically, I think uh, this question can be, can be done in two ways. First, uh, instead of the uh, instead of doing, uh, sorry, we can start by doing this, but you can first start in uh, 19 multiplied by 3, 11 multiplied by 1, 6 multiplied by 0, and then you add them together, and then you add them together, it will assist you, that will assist you in uh, what the final answer should be. But let's start with this and then explain it later. Uh, matrix multiplication. So just put this here in form of a matrix. Add uh, add brackets inside this matrix. Add brackets matrix. So it should be like that. Uh, and we say, or rather, I believe, uh, say when you have a, a matrix, when you have a matrix in a, of a particular order, particular order, the resulting matrix after multiplication of two matrices, after multiplication of two matrices, the resulting matrix yeah, should be of order. Uh, the number of rows in the first matrix and the number of columns uh, matrix. Number of rows in the first matrix and the number of columns uh, matrix. So this first matrix is of order three, three by three. The second matrix. This is just a uh, general information so for the three, three rows, three rows, one column. So, in determining uh, the result here, in determining the result, in matrix, in matrix multiplication, uh, this can take uh, three rows, 
this can't take a uh, take three columns. This can't take three columns. Just uh, delete this. Matching matrix can take three columns. Uh, three, yeah, three columns should just take uh, one column. This is because uh, when you have uh, what I was trying to say is when you have a matrix of order three by three and you are multiplying it by another matrix of order. Let's just take this as, this as an example. Matrix here. Go to the next part. In my in matrix multiplication, you can only multiply two matrices. You can only multiply two matrices when the number of columns is equal to the number uh, of rows of the second matrix. Columns of the first matrix should be equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. Okay, you can do matrix multiplication. If the number of uh, rows here in the second matrix was two, here was two, this matrix multiplication would not uh, be possible. It can't be possible. In order for you to multiply uh, two matrices, the number of columns of the first matrix should be equal to the number of rows of the second. And the resulting matrix, the resulting matrix, or rather your answer, your answer should be a matrix of order three by one, three by one, that is uh, the number of rows of the first matrix of columns of the second matrix. That is how your answer should be. So matrix multiplication, matrix multiplication, uh, we saw that uh, the first step is you take 19, multiply by 3, you multiply by 3, then you add 11, and then you multiply by 1, and then you have 6, from the color matrix, have 19, uh, 8, and then you add 9, then you have 8, you multiply by 0, 14, multiply by 3. multiply by one and have twelve multiply by zero. It will give you this will give you the answer to that question. All of this together. All of them together. Uh, the first, uh, the first uh, for the total number for the total number of points. So when you sum these together, here you have uh, sixty-eight, have uh, sixty, sorry, sixty-six. The last one will be fifty. The last one will be fifty. There are question up to there. You can just ask uh, before some common mistakes uh, you can do to such a question. Should be fifty. Should be fifty when you do your calculation, because this is forty-two plus eight plus zero. That should give you a fifty.
Okay, so a common mistake. Okay, excuse. Excuse, as in here, the second example. She called us to the solution in the poor. Solution in the poor, you see, prepare an answer. Answer you are being calculated for yourself. Basically, you add another row, you add another row. You add another row. It is a motion, I get a motion, and then from there, you add this element together. But this is a because I can't add that last row. So, is there any other question? Yes, that is. According to your working, yes, what you could mean if any what you mean in the other different working with Fanya, Haji. If any owner of the first matrix 1911, okay, so since I do you have the first column, you know, wins in the drone, I love in the lost. So since I see to me, I'm both alafu kwa draw ni 1 alafu ingine ni 0 mi hapo tu ni kandika most clay by kwa colon stand hivyo tu dele stand up that bit ok kwa 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 Ya penyanyi ya highlight. Apa ibu tu jangan ya ibu. Nampaknya dengan multiply by three, then multiply by one, and then six multiply by by zero. Sasa. Apa ni yang nak aku kujah saya? That is where I want to correct. Oh, ibu tu dia. That is what I wanted correct. So basically. Uh, you find that uh, swelling your combia using matrices. Swelling your combia using matrices. So you must use matrices. If you are using matrices, you must use matrices. Everyone is bright enough. You uh, are doing swelling when you are fine. You are not caring. As much as it is correct, as much as it is correct, because uh, of your matrices, you might. Uh, a mark that even though your working is correct, even though right? but uh, because of the matrix, uh, you might be denied a mark. Uh, that is, uh, you'll find that this is how you do it, this is how you do it, but let me correct, uh, or rather, let me point out some mistakes. Some mistakes you will do on such a question, or rather, a mistake. A mistake you do on such a question that is because of the matrices. A mistake you do on that question. Uh, at the examiner, at the UA, you are bright enough uh, to do such a question. But the way you, do, uh, you did it, if I'm correct, you can do it. But since I'm going to do whatever the question has asked you to use, you might miss a mark. I uh, believe uh, for those who have not done it this way, lakini mepata nasa yako, lakini ujetumia mashi, it have done it this way. A win, for me, I'm going to ask you multiply it by 3, because you are doing as uh, for the total number of points, and then you add 11, uh, multiply by 1, and then add it to 6, uh, multiply it by 0. And this will give you 68. The next one will be 19. You multiply it by 3, you add 9, then you add 8, multiply it by 0. This will give you 66. And then the third one, 14, multiply by 3, 8, multiply by 1 and then plus L multiply by 0 
multiplied by zero, and this will give you 50. This matrix says uh, you have gotten the answer. I believe you have done it this way. You have done it this way. So before I started uh, this question, I say uh, there is a certain way you can do it. Do it. Uh, for you to get the answer, you must also use the matrix. So a common mistake that uh, you will do is that you will just uh, have it or uh, have your working this way. Correct. The answers are correct, but uh, well, what you have done wrong is uh, you have not uh, used matrices. You, uh, for those who have done it, this, you must include uh, the matrix uh, section. Basically, this is so much important. We get a hopper. It's not a must to do this. Calculation here connects. For me, I will give you an answer if you did your calculation this way. But then the resulting answer, you should put it in a matrix form. So basically, calculation here to have the multiplication and addition part. And as you can hear, that will not be a mistake. And then your answer you will be in matrix form. If you just uh, do it this way, and then I have evil, and you have not used matrices, you might be like uh, some marks for that. It's lenient enough. Uh, here she will give you all the marks. So, this is one common mistake uh, you might do on such a question. This is a common mistake you might do on such a question. Read this way, it is correct, the answers are correct. But uh, because you have not used the matrices, you will be denied a mark for that. You can do it. This, this is the correct way to do it. You have a uh, matrix carrying the results, another matrix carrying uh, the points. You can do it this way, or you can do it this way. You do it this way. So long as uh, in the first step you have used matrices, this is correct. That's according to you. For me, that's correct. Absolutely correct. And then your answer should be given in a matrix form. In a matrix form. So that's how you do it. This will be a common mistake if you just do it and leave it as that. So you are happy there. Excuse. Yes. Excuse. Please answer. So you are happy there. Yes. Matrix. That is correct. The answer is my part of 68, 66, 50. And my That is also correct. You can break this matrix uh, into individual into individual parts where you have uh, the win, the wins, uh matrix, and then the points in its own matrix. Do your calculation. Take the draws, take the loss. And do the same for each. That's absolutely correct. And you may find that is the correct. Whoever has asked uh, that question, is correct. Okay. Another question. Uh, for those in one eight, I don't know if you are a teacher, but uh, for me, my students, they always tell my students, uh, give a reason, uh, a reason for the teacher to find you. Yeah. In simple terms, somebody can make it so easy. Uh, a reason for you to give you all the marks. We will manage all the working. You can go straight to the point. That is, if your answer in a general your answer is correct. You can just move straight to the point in your calculation. 
just to show you are working but again i'm saying if you're right enough instead of maybe showing all you're working which is key uh, maybe you can skip some parts that you know the calculation how they occur straight to the point but if you doubt yourself if you doubt yourself just uh, show all your working show all your steps feature uh, may uh, go on each step and uh, find you an answer basically you have to marks give the reason uh, give a reason for the teacher to find some marks or you go Nisha wakinia koyote mwa fanyiyo ingini wacha ya kutafutia max wacha wacha mwalimu wa kutafutia max but give him a reason uh, post max again usiache blank usiache, usiache blank for sali uh, that's the same concept uh, give you a reason for the teacher uh, to look uh, for the working and here uh, in the one in the five class uh, same applies as your assignment. Same applies as your assignments. Basically, and once again, uh, to make sure the method you have used, the steps uh, you have used are correct. Once again, and make sure uh, you have done the correct thing, the correct thing. Because afterwards, certainly, uh, speaker, I'll just read you. Uh, from what you have given me, the, no chance to redeem yourself. Basically, for those assignments, come on the course of your party and resubmit your work. Make correction and resubmit your work if you're not there. But if it is okay, so, uh, that's uh, that's quite good. Uh, I just award you the marks. Uh. And again, uh, remember to do your assignments. Get plenty of credit. Friday. That is for the DICT 24, DICT 25, then Friday. I will be penalized for 183, DICT 23. Uh, your teacher will give you your assignments. Your teacher will give you your assignments. Basically, it's a fine easy assignment. There are 184, 185 assignments for the 183 class. Nikona Sawali. If I look at me, it's a maxisako that I've got here. But uh, in the same, uh, make sure it's got turned in. When you want to find it, when you upload, when you get it. Basically, when you find it, to me, in Indonesia, uh, that assignment is not turned in. Not turned in. It's just uploaded. It's just uploaded. So make sure it is turned in. And I believe when you turn it, uh, in. Basically, I think uh, you are one in three. I was not given that direct, uh, that directive to give you an assignment. Basically, this was an arrangement for me and my classes. So, I'm one in three. Don't do that assignment. The particular assignment that you will do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. have a question. Yes. Uh, in the example three, yes. Okay. According to the matrices that you have formed, yes. I have uh, started with the three by three matrix. Yes. And uh, now you have uh, done the three by one. So no matter how the and maybe I've written uh, the solution as the uh, three by one times the three by three. Yes. Yeah, put a cut of max. Uh, basically, uh, let me elaborate it this way. If you started by, if you started 
He started by a three by one matrix. He started by a three by one matrix. And then you multiply this. You multiply this by, by three matrix. This will be impossible. You cannot multiply a three by one matrix by a three by three matrix order. Not in this order. The only way you can multiply such matrices that with a three by three and a three by one. Basically, e you can do it. Uh, you can do it as your own free time and test if uh, correct or wrong. But it is correct. You cannot multiply a three by one matrix by a three by three. I say, I say it again, and I will repeat. It is only possible to multiply two matrices. Only possible to multiply two matrices. The number of uh, the number of uh, the number of columns of the first matrix is equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. Uh, you can do multi ma matrix multiplication. When the number of columns of the first matrix, the number of columns of the first matrix is equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. In case you cannot do matrix multiplication uh, on those two matrices, like here, number of columns here is one, and the number of rows here is three. So basically, you cannot do matrix multiplication on such matrix. To change this, what are you answer? Let me start, and this come after, and then do try doing that multiplication you'll find that that multiplication won't be possible by doing matrix multiplication make sure the number of rows and the number of columns of the first matrix basically the matrix which you are starting with is equal to the number of rows of the second matrix that's the only possible way you can do uh, matrix multiplication but this other one this is not this is not possible and you can try on this and then which i'm talking about question there's no any other question and you can try on this this is the last one you can try on this last one Example four. Example four. M allows uh, can do it. The answers the question, and then you can try how to do the calculation. Basically. Using your muscle, you can do such questions. Using your muscle, you can do the types of questions you can uh, find yourself asked in an exam situation. So you can try on this. You can try on this. Question reads A kiosk owner wanted to buy one baby of potatoes. And two baskets of onions. We went to the whole market and found that the prices as follows are 50 shillings, a baby of potatoes, 50 for a bunch of bananas, 100 a basket of onions around the market. The corresponding prices 48 and 80. And the question asks you curious owner requirements. Matrix express the prices as, and then use the matrices in A and B above. Cost the kiosk owner spent on each market. Take note of the keywords. The keywords.
finish, you can give us your answers. Whoever wants to type and give us your answers in the finish. I'm a So, A, B, and C, Ama. For A, the raw matrix of the kiosk's bonus requirements is 1, 3, 2. So, um, prices in each market as a color matrix. 280 going downwards 50 and 100 for yeah. so, market it's 300 80 going downwards yeah. um, the, the total cost the kiosk owner spent on each market in spent 630 and in Harambe market, he spent 604 shillings. Sir, sir. Okay, okay. Sir, sir. 
any other person try now a gentleman now you can try giving us your answer i think uh, this is a lengthy question so I'll just try having up and then as a party answer or any other person you can give us your answer Let's see what's correct or anything that's wrong uh, it's supposed to be done any other person can try any other person can try I have also finished. So, what's your answer? So, A, it's yes. one, three, one, three, two, going downwards. Uh, yes. B, for the uh, prices in each market as a column matrix, it's 280, 50, and 100 going downwards. And for Harambe, it's 348 and 80 going downwards. Then C, then C for Uhuru Market, yes. it's 630 shillings. Then for Harambe, 604. Okay. okay. Any other person wants to try? Maybe I can have the last person in there uh, in the few minutes uh, remaining. You may part of me. So, the answer? Who? Oh. Okay. For part A. Yeah. B. 280, 15, 100. That is for who? Then 348 and 80. Yes. You only hear in Guinea? Yes. Uh, then in given six that in six or four. Okay. Uh, we can work with that. Basically that's very good. Uh those who have uh who have answered us, uh, those answers are correct. Those answers are correct. It will be an exact situation. Uh from such a question we have gotten all the answers followed uh and the correct instructions basically for a row matrix we know the region for a column matrix we you know how it's supposed to be written basically if you make this question as as you for a column matrix so your answers are correct you give them in a form of a row matrix so so long as you followed uh, the instruction how it's supposed to be answer what you get or uh, the max. So for such a question, the first one is express uh, the kiosk as a row matrix. The row matrix. Basically, here the solution to this question. The solution to such a question will be. Uh, express the owner's uh, requirements as a row matrix. Uh, we talked of a row matrix being a uh, matrix with any number cross but one number. Sorry, a row matrix, the same should have number of columns. But however, we define such a matrix, but basically, uh, in the way write sentence because they need sentences so such is the answer so here the keywords all the requirements as a row matrix i watch uh, the kiosk owner wanted to buy he wanted to buy one day of potatoes three bunches of bananas and two baskets onions so here sheets you have this then you can put that so 
So the first one will be one. So this will be one. Then you have three. Then you have two, which is follow that order. So that's a solution to part A. To part B, express the prices in each market as a column matrix. Whole market, we start by whole market. So here is a column matrix. A matrix. It should be this way. This is for whole market, starting with whole market. The first, the prices, we are starting with the price of uh, this will be 280, then we go 50, and then we have 100. That's for the whole market. For the market, for the market, this will change to. Then we have 48 and 80. Page plus one page. Basically, we have expressed the prices in form of column and uh, The first one here for Uhuru market, the second one for Harambe market. Then, then the third one, we use the matrices A and B above to find the total cost spent uh, on each market. Market. So here we can have matrix, we can have this matrix here. We are multiplying this. Of that, we can also form another matrix. Form another matrix here, a three by two matrix, three by two matrix. So this will accept uh, the elements of two eighty, two hundred, we have forty eight, eighty. So if you multiply these two matrices, I believe you get your answer. I believe you get your answer. I believe you get your answer. Answer will be This will be 630. And then you basically you can have your answer as such. Or you can just say for the market uh, you have 630 around the market. This went before. So that's how you work out such question. Or a or even instead of having uh combined, instead of having these two matrices combined form this matrix you can multiply uh, the requirements here you can multiply the requirements here by individual matrix you multiply this and then multiply by this you get the price at the whole market and then multiply this by this matrix you get the price at around the market that's also a method of doing such a question uh, is there any is there any question Guiding on what uh, we have done today. Uh, this question come up on Swali, you can ask. If you have any question, you can ask.
from the comments, uh, I see how many marks. Basically, uh, such a question, such a question, uh, uh, this last question, I see such questions are really different marks. You can't expect that uh, this question will carry the same marks as this first question. Basically, they can't carry the same marks. The requirements of each question differ. So you find that in such a question, maybe you can see, express the owner requirements that will be given as one mark, express the prices as a color matrix, two marks for each matrix, and then using the results uh, in this, you find that uh, your answer is required uh, or rather find the total cost in each bucket so each answer carries one mark so inside one mark six or four one mark forming uh, this matrix uh, and the multiplication you have uh, have this matrix and this other one that will give you another mark it may be Probably one mark for patch A, two marks for patch B, uh, four marks for patch C. Because you have one mark for forming the matrices, another mark for your computation, for how you have calculated, uh, uh, how you have multiplied these two matrices, and then uh, marks for the answers. So that's how uh, the marks are awarded. And then hmm. uh, Dixon, uh, when you talk about Arsenal, I think about him as a personality double. Uh, so, vision, basically, that's in our rings so or evil. Uh, football in a uh, football in March. I don't know. Ah, in, in class. Okay, that's okay. Here's how we have gotten that 603 and 604. So basically, the 603 and 604 is a matrix multiplication. The basic matrix multiplication. So you have 1 multiplied by 280 multiplied by 50 and 2 multiplied by 100 together you get 630 then for you to get 604 you say 1 multiplied by 300 and by 48 and then 2 multiplied by uh, multiplied by 80 that's how you get 604 604 so it's just a uh, basic uh, matrix calculation i've just chosen to give the answer direct uh, for the calculation part uh, you can do that uh, because the answers that i've gotten uh, so i believe uh, it uh, can be the same for the rest basically the previous question how you have multiplied the matrix here how you have multiplied the matrix here it's the same how you multiply the matrix there so you can try on that then again, a class is over, basically 10 in the figure. So you are free to leave. Uh, we meet uh, next week Monday. That is what we link. We meet next week Monday. Have a nice uh, weekend. Have a nice weekend.